So, um, I saw a TikTok not that long ago about uh, extracting pure capsaicin from chilies. And I happen to have leftover chilies from a recipe I made a couple weeks ago. So let's, let's do that. We've got the chilies, some isopropyl alcohol to act as a solvent for the capsaicin, and some crushed red pepper just, just to add just a little bit more. Oh, she is very strong. I don't know if I should be breathing this in, but I obviously don't have a fume hut in my apartment, so we're just gonna turn the oven fan on and open the door. This is what we're at. Um, a lot of this is isopropyl and will eventually be evaporated off. I'm gonna leave this to steep for a couple days, then run it through a coffee filter, and then let the isopropyl evaporate. And then we should be left with pure capsaicin oil, which is going to be a fun time. Okay, so it's been a couple days. This is what we're left with. This is all the pepper chunks. This is the isopropyl. All of that orange stuff is the carotenoid, which gives the peppers its color. I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to do another rinse with isopropyl. I'm leave this here to gravity filter, maybe overnight, maybe just for a couple hours. And then this will be sitting on my counter with the ba bathroom fan on for as long as it takes for all this isopropyl to evaporate. Fortunately, it has a low boiling point or like a point where it evaporates, so hopefully it shouldn't take that long. But I'll be back in a couple days with hopefully the capsaicin oil. Okay, we're at about, I think, a week now. All of this stuff at the bottom is still capsaicin and uh, carotenoids and isopropyl. I think all of this stuff at the side is the leftover capsaicin. So that's what I'm going to be collecting. That's what I'm going to be eventually trying. So, yeah, week update. Okay, it's been pretty much exactly a week since I started this whole thing. I scraped out all of my leftover capsaicin, put it in this little jar. It is admittedly not an appetizing color, and um, yeah, there is an incredibly low yield, which I was expecting. I don't know how much of this is actually capsaicin. I don't know, but I'm running out of time, so come back for part two where I try this. Wish me luck.